the first one we have here is a very simple underwater text effect in which I've applied it to this shot. And I've also set the rotation's x-axis to minus 65 degree. If you want your text to blend in a little better to your background, all you need to do is scroll down to face, click show to reveal the tool, decrease the opacity, and then increase the blur. Now comes the fun part. Let's head down to the effects browser. In the search bar, type in underwater. Double click on that. Head up to the video inspector by clicking this icon. In the underwater tool, feel free to change the settings for size, speed, and refraction to however you want. And here you have it. Moving on to the next one, the flickering neon text effect. Once you have your text and video up and ready, in the text inspector, scroll all the way down and you'll see the option called Glow. Simply enable it by ticking this box. Select Show to reveal the tool. Go ahead and increase the blur as well as the radius. Once you're done, head back down to the timeline. Expand your workspace by pressing Command Plus on your keyboard a couple of times. Go to the beginning of your text or title. Bring out the blade tool by pressing the letter B. Go forward one frame using the right arrow key and then slice it. Repeat this a couple of times. Once you're done, bring out the select tool by pressing the letter A. Select this first portion of your title and disable it by pressing the letter V. Do the same thing to the third and the fifth. And if you want to, you could also do this a few more times throughout your title sequence. Last but not least, and one of my favourites, the text wipe effect. This effect will require a subject moving across the screen, or at least something. Another thing I would like to suggest you do before we get started, is to turn the text or title you already have into a compound clip in order to avoid issues regarding the text box getting in the way while masking. Now that's out of the way, let's start off by finding the place you wish the masking to begin. Once you've got that, select the title and then press Command B on your keyboard in order to slice it. Select the second portion of your title sequence, bring out the effects browser, in the search bar, type in Draw Mask. Double click on that. Head over to the Video Inspector. Under Draw Mask, add a keyframe to Feather and Fall Off. Drop down the Transforms tool by clicking this right arrow. And then simply add a keyframe to Position as well as the Control Points. Once you're all done, go ahead and draw a mask around the text and also feel free to disable the text anytime for a better view. Simply press the letter V to disable it and the letter V again to bring it back. Once you're done, you can disable this pen tool to hide the anchor points and feel free to use the feather and fall off tools to smooth in the sharp edges. Moving on, go forward one frame using the right arrow key on your keyboard and then reposition the mask. You can also use the feather and fall off tools when necessary. Repeat this process until the subject is out of frame. And voila! That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this video somewhat useful or at least give you a couple of ideas for your next project's text and titles. Anyways, good luck and have a wonderful rest of the week. Bye bye.